Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm Miss Nene and welcome. So today, today I'm going to do a really quick video. I have this vision in my head and it's in space, literally. Um, I wanted to do a bunch of random um, galaxy colors. So I am working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm gonna have a black background because it's important that I have a black background with this um, because these paints that I'm using are activated when it's used on a black background. So I've used these paints before, deco art, um, holographic illusions, and deco art enchanted paints. So this one here is the silver and I'm going to use the silver holographic illusions paint. I'm gonna mix that with my black paint because I want some of the holographic glitter to shine through the black glitter. I mean the black paint. And then I have all the other colors I'm showing you now. These colors are going to be my um, glittery, sparkly space colors with the black background. So I, I, um, I haven't used all these colors together and so I just got this idea where I just wanna go ahead and try that. And it's not gonna be a, a particular pattern, uh, but look at how pretty that is. That's the how they're supposed to look and the glitter inside um, will come through. Now these are the same paints, but without the glitter. These are just the really highly pigmented colors and I'm gonna add that because even though I'm gonna have the glitter, I do wanna have some rich colors mixed in. So here they are together side by side. One is the Enchanted Iridescent and the other one is the Holographic, which I think will look really good together. They're both blue and they complement each other very well. So now these right here are the Folk Art Dragonfly Glaze paints. These are more of the um, um, where are they right here. These are more of a, a color glaze or color shift, violet to blue to green. I'm going to mix that into the background of the black before I lay all the color. So I'm going to use this one here and the holographic deco art silver illusion. I'm just gonna put that on the on the canvas on top of the black paint. I'm gonna just blow it all in to get it all mixed in before I lay down the rest of the colors. So these two right here are gonna be mixed with the black. This just came to me and I, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Well, I do now because this is a voiceover and I know how it turns out, but at the time, I did not know what it was gonna look like, but I had this vision in my head and I love space colors, galaxy colors, and um, I figured this would be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this paint and then let's see what happens. Okay, I just wanted to show you what they look like mixed up. I only used water, very little water to mix them because they're very fluid anyway. But the fairy pink, as well as all the holographic ones, you can see the glitter. You can see that's fairy pink, so you can see the holographic pink glitter inside. And the enchanted paints is just the creamy off-white color that will change to the color that it's supposed to be once it hits the black background and definitely when it dries. As for the folk art, color shift paint is exactly the same way it's like a off-white color but once it hits that black paint and when it starts to dry you will see the colors and the glitteriness the beautiful glitter in the background so those paints are very very cool to work with they even have a shimmer which has a light glittery um, effect to it so those are some fun paints to work with. I really love using them. They um, give your painting so much of a really nice composition. And if you like 
beautiful colors and glittery things, this is perfect paint for you.
Okay, well, here it is, the close-up. Look at how pretty that is. The blues, the violet, the gold, the holographic glitter. You can see all the glitter sparkling in that black background and throughout the colors. See, these, this deco art enchanted and holographic paint is so cool. I love it. It is so pretty. Look at that. And there's some areas that look a little white, and that's because it hasn't fully dried and the colors are still developing. But look at how beautiful that is. Look at that teal over there. It turned out so, so nice. I'm really happy that I did this. Can't wait for you to see the dry results. So I used my um, leftover ceramic tile to dip it in the paint that had spilled on the table because I didn't want any of that pretty paint to go to waste. So I just flipped them over, laid it down, pushed it, pulled it right back up. And this is what it looked like. I was able to get two sets of four, so eight coasters all together with the paint that spilled over. So at least the paint didn't go to waste. And you can see there's still a lot of pretty paint laying on my table, but I don't have any more ceramic tiles. <laughs> so, but I was able to do that, which is really cool. So here comes the dry results. Look at how pretty that is. It's so relaxing and mesmerizing that blue is my favorite the blue and the violet love that and then you can see the glitter the holographic glitter and I guess in a certain light it will you can see the shift I can't see it from this from the um, view from the camera but I did see it when I was um, holding it up in the light and look at looking at it but it is really, really gorgeous. And this is gonna get a really nice shiny uh, varnish coating or resin, haven't decided yet, but I've got a few weeks to decide what I wanna do. But I am so happy with how it turned out. Look at how pretty that is. Just beautiful. So I was able to um, show you the uh, the coasters the coasters are dry and they turned out beautiful too look at that i really love how this turned out it just seems so i don't know heavenly almost it's, i don't know i can get lost in this picture it's going to look really pretty once it's varnished but anyway here are the coasters Look at how pretty they are. Guys, let me know what you think about how this turned out, the coasters turned out, the paintings turned out, um, what you think about the paint itself. Hopefully um, it will inspire you to run up to Hobby Lobby or Michael's and get you some. Look at how pretty this one is. I do have some that are my favorite, these coasters, but I am definitely going to put resin on these um, in a few days which will make it even more beautiful. It will definitely pop. But thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to um, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss anything. I've got some more crafts coming soon, some new ideas, some experiments. You just name it, and I want you to be there. So please don't forget to uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your time. I appreciate you. As always, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.